In this Coinbase Wallet tutorial, I will show you how to use Coinbase Wallet to buy crypto and also how to receive crypto on the Coinbase Wallet. And in general, how to use Coinbase Wallet. And if you don't already know, Coinbase Wallet is different to the Coinbase app and is a decentralized wallet where you can have self-custody of your cryptocurrencies. If you want to jump forward or backwards in the tutorial, then I've added the timestamps in the description below. So I'm going to presume you already have the app on your phone. If not, then go get it off of either the Android or iOS app store. Just make sure you download the Coinbase Wallet app rather than the Coinbase app. This will then ask you to set up a wallet. So firstly, you can either create a new wallet or if you have an Ethereum based wallet from another provider, then that Ethereum wallet can be loaded onto Coinbase wallet because all wallets are on the blockchain and this is just an app to view the wallet. So if you have an existing wallet with a recovery phrase, then feel free to choose the I already have a wallet option or if not, then create a new one. This will then give you a seed phrase, which is a list of words that are used to recover your account on a different phone or application if you lose this phone, or say if you log out of this wallet and want to log back in. It's important that you do not share this seed phrase with anyone. Make sure you save your 12 words in a secure, safe location and that it's written down in the correct order. Hopefully somewhere safe enough so people won't find it, but also safe enough that you can remember where you put it and make sure it's somewhere that the paper won't get damaged. You can also back up an encrypted version of this seed phrase on your Google Drive or iCloud that is unlocked with a password. This does make it very easy to restore your wallet, but whether or not you want to do this is up to you because some people don't like the idea of their recovery phrase being in the cloud and would prefer it's kept offline. So once you've done this, you can add another level of security to access the app in case someone steals your phone. So this will use your fingerprint, a passcode, or if you have an iOS device, your face ID. Then after this, you can claim a username so that people can send you crypto inside the Coinbase ecosystem without people needing your full Ethereum address. Once you're in the app, you can change whether your profile is private or public in the settings. If it's public, then people can search for your name in their app to send you coins. If it's private, they won't be able to. So if you press OK after this, then the app should go off and create your wallet. And it should look something like this, as you will have nothing in your wallet, unless you've restored a wallet that is. So this is now the main screen or what's called the assets page. And my username is in the top left and is what is blurred out. Then below this, you can see my account balance, which is zero as it's a new wallet. And below this, you would normally see what cryptos you have, which you'll see shortly. Along the top, you can buy, swap, bridge, send and receive. So if you want to buy crypto, you can do this by pressing buy here. So here you will link your wallet up to your Coinbase account, which you will need to authorize. If you don't have an account with Coinbase yet, then I have an affiliate link in the description below where if you deposit $100, then we both get $10 in crypto and I'll be massively thankful for it as it really helps support this channel. So once you link your account, you can buy crypto on Coinbase directly into your wallet and you can also see your Coinbase balances in the wallet app. It's worth noting that you don't need to use a Coinbase account to use the Coinbase wallet. If you are transferring crypto from Coinbase, it's worth bearing in mind that there are transaction fees, so you can't send your entire balance from Coinbase and you will need to adjust accordingly. Once you have crypto in your wallet, you now get some different features. If you want to swap your crypto to other cryptos, you can click on swap. Here you can see this is currently on the Ethereum mainnet. If you had coins on another network, then you would be able to flip over to them by pressing this button here to switch between networks. So from here, you can choose what token you want to switch into. And these are all ERC20 cryptos. When we press find the best price, this is going to use a decentralized exchange. And the app says they will check for the best price against 75 
decentralized exchanges. Slippage tolerance is the percentage the swap will execute within the quoted price or your swap will be canceled. The next button on the home screen is the bridge button. By default, this is set to the Ethereum network. If you want to bridge some coins from one network to another, you can do this here. For example, you may want to bridge coins from the Ethereum network over to the Polygon network and you just choose the amount and press next. And this will show you the info to confirm before processing. It's worth noting that sometimes buying crypto on the network you want may have less fees than bridging. Next on the home screen is the send button where you can send your crypto to another address using the existing coins you have. And here you have the option to swap between USD and the amount in the respective coin. If you press next, then you can then enter the other person's address. If the person you're transferring to has a QR code, then alternatively you can press the square in the top right of the main screen, which opens up your phone camera to snap their QR code. Then lastly on the home screen is the receive button. And here you choose the address or QR code of the specific crypto you want to receive so that you can supply it to someone else who is transferring you coins or if you are transferring in from another exchange. If you click on these wallets, it will copy the specific wallet address. It's worth noting that this is mainly an Ethereum and ERC20 tokens wallet, but you can store Sol and a few other coins here also. You can also quickly access your wallet addresses by pressing this button at the top next to your username, which looks like a few bits of paper. On the main screen, you also have NFTs and you can also earn with DeFi, but I'm not gonna go into either of these in this video. If you want to know more about these, then they have information links under each of these. Now moving along the navigation panel at the bottom, if you want to see your past transactions, then click on the transactions button. And if you click on any specific transaction, you can see the details of it here. Now the middle button along the bottom is a browser button where you can look at some of the popular dApps or what's called decentralized applications. So for example, you can also swap your tokens here on some of these apps as well. Next, you have the explore section where you can create a watch list and see what's trending or performing well, or those with the highest market cap. And if you click on any of these specific cryptos, you can see their latest price chart and even see the white paper about that specific crypto, as well as containing shortcuts for buying and receiving these. Then finally, along the bottom, you have the settings button where you can change the network by changing the active DAP network. As I said before, by default, this is on the Ethereum mainnet, but say you want to focus on buying Matic instead, then you may want to flip this over to the Polygon network by clicking on this here. Now you will be on the Polygon network. Depending on what tokens you are holding, then some other networks may have better transactions or gas fees. Anyway, if you got any value from this video, then please don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to see more finance and crypto related content. And if you're not already up to speed on the difference between Coinbase and Coinbase Wallet, or if you want to know how to buy crypto on the Coinbase website, then I recommend watching either of these two videos next. It's been Ollie from GetGeek Finance. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.